heading to the pram markets. Maddie, what are we going to get? Uh, some vegetables. We're getting some fresh vegetables because we've had a bit of a bad luck with fruit and vegetables from good old Coles this week. So, um, pram market's awesome because they've got so much variety and so much fresh and uh, produce. Um, we're going to get fruit, vegetables and some meat and some eggs. Okay, Maddie, get get the yellow. That's what peaches should look like. Not like the crappy ones we had at Coles this week. Those ones, yeah. yeah so yeah. get the yellow ones. Okay. How many? What about? Get about... five. Get five kids. Put them in Dad's bag. Not U.S. naval. Let's try and find some Australian grown oranges, hey? Nippies. Passion fruit, Manny, ten for three dollars. Remember when the passion fruit was like a dollar or two dollars just for one? Yeah. Do you want to get ten of those and make yeah. a yummy fruit salad? Okay, so I'm just at the um, nature natural shop in um, at the market, and um, there's all these guides on how to eat. Um, and I just had to have a laugh at the uh, the paleo diet guide. Um, because what's so hard about that? Basically just don't eat um, grains and dairy. But I guess for some people it's good to know which um, meat product or animal products and vegetables they should be consuming. Anyway, that's it there. You can eat meat, fish, fats, oils, nuts, seeds, fruits and eggs. Very important stuff in a paleo. Okay, so for um, those who've got school children, um, it's really, really important um, to keep their toxins as low as possible. And so what we use at home is a stainless steel lunchbox. Um, things aren't wrapped in plastic, which is great. You can get different um, sizes too. So these are really good for putting um, fruit in. And these are really great for putting lots of different snacks in. Um, we've also got um, something very similar at home. Um, it's great for winter. It's um, a thermos. Uh, so you can do soups and like do um, some fried rice and leftover meat and bolognese sauce or anything really for school lunch boxes. Um, great way to keep them warm at lunchtime. Right, so we are back from the pram markets. Now I have to try and think what am I going to make with all this great food that we've just bought. Um, but right now it's two o'clock on a Sunday and we are going to go for a bike ride. <laughs> bit of a sneak peek into my pantry. My husband thinks I've got OCD because I collect literally every single jar 
of food and I make sure that I take them out of the plastic bags. So, a little bit of a tip trick, a uh, trick. The storage, great for seeds and nuts and everything. Save some buying uh, glass containers from Coles. I'm in the kitchen and we are cooking those beautiful, beautiful beef um, burgers that we got from the butcher. Um, I'm doing a little take on um, a burger, bunless burger, but not the salad. We're going to use vegetables instead. So I'm just going to caramelize some onions and I'm using to caramelize onions uh, macadamia nut oil. And I'm also going to use a little bit later on um, of my homemade chicken broth. Okay, so what are we going to have with our burgers? Well, cannot go past in every single meal that you have fermented vegetables. Why? I cannot describe how important fermented vegetables are for your gut. Um, they're actually a pre and probiotic, so they've got some bacteria in there that feed obviously off the vegetables that it's fermenting in. Um, hugely beneficial for the gut flora. Um, those people who have sluggish bowels, aim for about half a cup to a cup of fermented veggies a day. You will not know yourself after this. Um, please, please um, make sure that you get your fermented vegetables out of the fridge section because that means that the bacteria is um, happily alive. And um, start your kids on it early. Um, just as much as a teaspoon a day on the side of their plate with, um, with savoury meals. And um, Maddie eats it out of the jar by the spoonful um, now. But fermented veggies, get some. My favourite is super crab. That's it for me today. Dinner is done and we are about to tuck in, aren't we? And I got some coconut water in my purple cup, like my purple plate, because I got a purple plate and I got a purple cup. Okay, say goodbye. We'll see Bye. you tomorrow. Subscribe and comment below.